welcome back to Run and Sprint for Kids TV. It's a special day today. What day is it? Yes, I know it's Sunday. What day is today though? What's special about it? That's right, it's Mother's Day. I hope that your mums have had lots of special uh, treatment this morning. Maybe, you know, you've given them a foot massage. Maybe that's a bit gross. Maybe you've made them breakfast in bed or given them some flowers or made them a card or at least told them that you love them. Whether that's your mum, your auntie or your grandma, whoever it is that looks after you in that way in your, in your life, I hope that you're treating them very well today and every single day. Well, in the Bible, there are loads of amazing mums. God knew the importance of mums in our lives. And today, we're going to read from 1 Samuel, verse, uh, chapter 1, and we're going to read from verse 1 through to uh, verse 20. So why don't you go and grab a Bible, because I'd love it if you opened your Bible to read along with it, or pause the video, it's going to be on the screen, and we'll read this passage together now. Hannah upset crying because all she wanted was for God to give her a son she prays to God she asks him for a son and she says to him I will dedicate him back to you for the rest of his life now some of you boys and girls will have had dedications or thanksgivings when you were born your parents would have said to the church we want to give thanks for our child or we want to dedicate our child back to God but we believe that actually you get to choose for yourselves whether you have a relationship with God for yourself. Hannah promised God that she would do everything possible to raise Samuel to know him. And I don't know how much you know about Samuel, but when he was a bit older, he was a boy, he was lying in bed one night and he heard the voice of God. He didn't know the Lord for himself at that point, uh, but he was helped to understand that that was the voice of God. And he became a prophet, someone who hears messages from God and shares them with other people. He was so important, did amazing things for God and did amazing things through being able to hear messages for him and share him with God, share those messages with God's people. All because Hannah prayed for him in the very beginning. Now, I reckon lots of you have mummies who have been praying for you, maybe before you were even born. Certainly, uh, they'll be praying for you to have good friends at school, to be healthy. They'll be praying that you get to choose to be Jesus's friend yourself one day. Because it's not for us mummies to do that for you. When you're little, we do everything for you. We feed you, we change your nappies, we hold you. You can't walk or talk or do anything. And as you get older, you can start to do things more for yourself and you become a bit more independent. Well, that's how mummies view your relationship with Jesus. We want you boys and girls to choose Jesus for yourself as you get older. But it's got to be your choice, not your mummy's choice. A few years ago, my children bought me this for Mother's Day, this lovely vase. They'd all painted their handprint on here. Now, my children have got a bit older than that now. This handprint here is smaller than my hand there. But now his hand is much bigger than my hand in real life because he's grown older. And my prayer for my children is that as they grow older, they will get to know Jesus even better for themselves. And as their mum, that's my prayer for them. And I'm sure your mums have the same prayer for you, boys and girls. Look after your mums because they love you so very much. And God knew the importance of mums in people's lives. Think about Jesus. God could have sent Jesus anyhow to earth he could have sent him as a fully formed man riding on a spaceship 
He could have done that in any way, but he sent him as a baby with a mummy, with Mary to look after him and nurture him. Even Jesus had a mum. God knew the importance of mums in our lives. So look after your mum today, look after her tomorrow and for every day. And we will see you next time on Kids TV. Have a great week.